Welcome to the WTSS Season 1 Race 1 at Canadian Tire. The field, led by Jackson Harrows and Fernando Van Dorn, led them down to the first lap of the season and the series. We'll take it from here. Green flag in the air! We're underway! Jackson Harrows and Fernando Van Dorn take the green in the inaugural WTSS race! Harrows gets the early lead off of turn number one. Van Dorn following close in second, Aiden Shepard and Zachary Fitzwater slip into third and fourth, and Malcolm Sweet rounds out the top five. 41 laps here at Canadian Tire, anything is possible, and we have a bunch of battles down in the middle of the field and in the back. Van Dorn closing back in, trying to get back to the lead, but it is Harrows leading the way for Flying Aces International, part of a five-car team. That BMW is sure looking strong here on the first lap of this new series. This is going to be the prime passing spot of the track. Harrows doesn't get challenged it looks like, but Van Dorn does for second. And Aiden Shepard goes to the inside, and it looks like he's going to gain second before the end of the first lap. A great run by that 42 team already on the first lap, but it is Jackson Harrows leading down the Andretti straightaway for the first time down under the Canadian tire sign and down at the end of the straight Shepard looks like he's trying to get more he wants to lead the first lap of the series it looks like Harrows now leads into the final turn and it looks like he's gonna be safely leading the first lap of the WTSS here in Canadian tire but it wasn't long until trouble struck in the inaugural WTSS race when Sean Angel gets into the back of Johnny Gardner on the first lap of the race, turning him around into the wall. No caution came out because of it, though. We now watch on board with Gardner as he gets turned around by Angel in the 58. Unfortunate for him, as there was nothing he could do about it. On lap three, the first caution of the race came out as Colby Elliott got turned around by Hannah Johnson and Scott Roush goes flying hard into the tires. All three of them go out on board with Andrew McKinley, the number 10 car. He got super close to being involved in this wreck. That is how close it was. The width of a hair. Jackson Harrows led them to the caution, followed by Van Dorn, Shepard, Sweet, and Fitzwater. Van Dorn took the lead during pit stops, as only four cars stayed out. Philip Perpura, the oldest driver in WTSS, following behind Johnny Gardner. Gardner had some kind of an issue, goes into the end of the pit wall, and Papura, with nowhere to go, runs into it as well. Rough break for both of them as they both go out of the race. Brandon Crasta in the 63 Dollar General car takes fuel only. Alexa Lake wasn't expecting it and slams him into, into her pit stall, pinning him against the wall. Fernando Van Dorn took the restart with Fitzwater right behind him and Tristan Wilhoyt in third. But... It didn't take long for them to have more trouble, as on lap 12, Angel Navarro gets turned by Eric Cardona in front of the field. He gets hit by Mitchell Mark and Kip Pitt. Pitt and Mark were done for the day, but Navarro continued as he drives away from the accident scene right there. They had almost gotten to the line, but Fernando Van Dorn takes the caution as the yellow comes out right before he reaches the finish line. Leading them out of the pits with Pitt strategy, Zachary Fitzwater, Tristan Wilhoyt, and Jeffrey Finguy are the top three. Fitzwater takes the restart over Wilhoyt. It wasn't long until Angel Navarro, with the rear end busted on his car, had a fuel leak. And all the fuel drained from that car, and the car ran out. As he limped it back to the pits and called it a day here in the first race of the series. Only one lap into the restart on lap 16, Ryan Bolden blows a motor and stalls down the front stretch, holding up Christopher Akron in the process. He comes to a stop, and the third caution of the day comes out at Canadian Tire. Nobody else was involved in the incident. Fitzwater, followed by Will Hoyt, Van Dorn, and a dead heat for fourth, took the caution. Fitzwater immediately took the restart ahead of Will Hoyt and led them into turn number on lap 22, Tristan Wilhoyt went to the inside of Zachary Fitzwater, down into the Andretti straightaway. Under the Bridgestone sign they went. Wilhoyt had the run, he had the better run off the last turn, 
and was now using that to his advantage, Fernando Van Dorn also helping him out by drafting behind him down the straightaway. This would be a key factor in playing on whether or not Will Hoyt could get past Fitzwater heading into the last couple turns. Fitzwater, trying to get any ground he can on the outside of the turn, has the preferred lane into the next turn, but it was Tristan Wilhoyt taking the lead in the final turn on lap 22 under green. Wilhoyt led them to the line and took the lead. Then it was Sean Angel once again causing trouble on the track, turning around Andrew McKinley and bringing out the fourth caution of the day. On board with the, eight, the 15 of Colton Amos, Amos gets a bird's eye view as you see McKinley back into the tires in the background. Coming to the caution, Fernando Van Dorn moves to the inside of Will Hoyt in the same move that Will Hoyt pulled on Fitzwater. Van Dorn now with, the good, with a good run down the straightaway, side by side with Will Hoyt, as Will Hoyt now tries to hang on to that lead coming to the caution. If he can just hang on to it, he will lead under the entire yellow and take the restart. Under the Canadian tire sign, now Van Dorn try, showing a nose ahead, but Will Hoyt is fighting a lot stronger on the outside than Fitzwater did. Van Dorn almost closes the door but can't quite, but then into the final turn, just like Will Hoyt did to Fitzwater, Fernando Van Dorn takes the lead off the final turn, taking the caution. Van Dorn took the restart on lap 26 and led them into turn number one ahead of Will Hoyt, who had a bad restart. But as you'll see in the background, the pace car's lights come on as the caution is out immediately. Mark Nutt gets turned around down the front stretch, breaks the front stretch wall, gets stuck in it, and Frank Mattioli goes under him. On board with Mattioli as he turns Nutt into the wall and slam the front end of Mattioli's car off the ground. Van Dorn took the caution barely over Finn Guy. Van Dorn took the restart once again, and it was him leading over Finn Guy on the restart as Finn Guy had a bad restart. Zachary Fitzwater now moves to the inside as the caution is back out again, immediately on the restart. As in the back, Eric Cardona gets turned around by Ben Dover. They go into the wall, no serious crash, and they both continue on. Everyone else avoids them very cleanly. And once again, it was Fernando Van Dorn taking the caution, but just barely over, over Jeffrey Finguy. Van Dorn once again took the restart over Finguy, Fitzwater, Will Hoyt, and Harrows as they went off into turn number one. And this time, as you'll notice, no caution came out immediately. Three laps into the run, Sean Angel has an issue. He flies off the course into the final turn, hits the pit wall, flies across, back across the track, almost into Eric Cardona, and rears into the tires. On board with Cardona in the, in the 53, as Angel flies across the track after an issue, goes into the tires. Van Dorn took the caution and is now setting up a late race restart. Here's the live commentary. Green flag back in the air. Fernando Van Dorn takes the restart with three laps to go as he leads down into turn number one over Tristan Wilhoyt. Side by side for third between Aiden Shepard and Fitzwater. Shepard gets it. He takes third off of turn number one. Malcolm Sweet now going for fourth on Fitzwater. That 12 car doesn't seem to be as fast on the restarts. Will Hoyt on the bumper of Fernando Van Dorn. Van Dorn trying to win the inaugural WTSS race here in Canadian Tire. Can he hang on through the sweeping right-hander? It is Van Dorn still hanging on to it. Fitzwater now charging back on Shepard for third. There's Jeffrey Finguy battling for fifth with Malcolm Sweet. Bunches of battles going on throughout the field with only three laps to go. We're about to head into the Andretti straightaway once more. Will Wilhoyt try to make a move? No, he won't. But Aiden Shepard makes a move for second. Shepard side by side with Wilhoyt as they go under the Bridgestone sign down the Andretti straightaway with only two and a half laps to go. Even can Shepard take the second spot? It looks like he's already done it. Now Fitzwater going for third on Wilhoyt and maybe even a fourth for Malcolm Sweet. Jack Halleck taking 6th in the back from Jeffrey Finguy. There is so much battling going on here at the end of this race. What an incredible start to this series in WTSS. Will Hoyt door slams Zachary Fitzwater for 3rd. Trying to hang on to any spot he can. Trying to claw back whatever he can. Down to complete the lap. 2 laps to go for Fernando Van Dorn. 
Aiden Shepard is already hounding the bumper of that 29, trying to take the lead in the first race of the WTSS, trying to win the race. He has not led all day. He almost led the first lap of the race, but he hasn't been close since, and now he's within striking distance of a win. Will Hoyt battling back for fourth on Malcolm Sweet, trying to hang on to that spot, but Sweet gets it. Sweet takes the fourth spot, and Jack Halleck is flying towards the fifth spot, trying to catch up to Tristan Will Hoyt. Down up the hill again we go, under the Continental Tire sign, and it is Fernando Van Dorn leading the way as we're heading onto the Andrade straightaway. Will Aiden Shepard be close enough to make a move? We head down onto the straightaway now. Shepard doesn't make a move, and it doesn't like a, there's any battles on throughout the top five as we head under the Bridgestone sign. No, Jack Hallett goes to the inside for fifth on Tristan Wilhoit, going for the lead down the Andretti straightaway with a lap and a half to go. Fernando Van Dorn is going to lead them down as we head off of the Andretti straightaway for the final two turns. Van Dorn, Shepard, maybe even Fitzwater could sneak one out if he had a good final lap. Into the final two turns we go. Final turn now, coming to the white flag. Fernando Van Dorn takes the white flag. One lap to go in Canadian Tire. Aiden Shepard farther back than he has been the last couple laps. Shepard now is going to have to do God's work to pass Fernando Van Dorn. Van Dorn seems to have kicked it into gear and he's pulling away as we head down the hill for the first time on the final lap. Fitzwater catching Shepard for second now. Shepard might be all out of it. He might have worn those tires out too early and he may be too late to make a charge on Fernando Van Dorn. Will Hoyt hangs on to fifth in the back. It's a hard battle for the top five spot back there. But the top three have separated themselves from everyone else as we head down the hill heading towards the tight right-hander for one last time into the Andretti straightaway. Van Dorn with a big lead over Shepard. He runs wide! Fernando Van Dorn runs wide! Here comes Aiden Shepard down the back straightaway, down the Andretti straight. Half a lap to go. Shepard to the inside, side by side down the straightaway. Fitzwater not close enough to do anything, but if these two were to tangle, he would be the first in line to take the win. Side by side, down to the end of the Andretti straightaway. Two more turns to go. Van Dorn noses ahead. Shepard sliding. They're drifting through these turns, trying to hang on to it. They almost door slam. Shepard side by side into the final turn. Who's going to win at Canadian Tire? And it is Aiden Shepard leads one lap to win the season opener in Canadian Tire. Van Dorn comes in a close second. Zachary Fitzwater hangs on to third, Malcolm Sweet fourth, and Eric Cardona sneaks out of fifth spot. What an incredible start to the WTSS here in Canadian Tire. A great race and a great finish. And Aiden Shepard, leading only one lap, takes the win in the final corner of the race. 41 laps of great battles, and it ends with an amazing finish. How about that? For a, an amazing run, the damaged 63 still finishing in 6. That's impressive in itself, too. As we look at our race results here at Canadian Tire. Aiden Shepard, of course, bringing home the win over Van Dorn, Fitzwater, Sweet, and Cardona. Will Hoyt hanging on to 6th, followed by Halleck, Finguy, Moore, and Anderson rounding out the top 10. Akron, Hu, Onesto, Harrows, and Edwards, the top 15. Lee Owe, Merriweather. Running 17th, John Cittadino, the halfway point of the field. Colton Amos, 22nd. And it looks like Crasta in the 30th place was the last car finishing. Everyone else you'll see on your screen did not finish the race. And unfortunately, your first last place finisher of WTSS is Scott Roush. What an amazing start to the WTSS here in Canadian Tire. We hope to see more of these battles for the rest of the season in the next 39 races. We'll see you in San Air, the second of the Canadian races and the first WTSS race on an oval. We'll see you in the next race.